capsule. Today we will discuss about combustion. What is combustion? Please try to listen. Concentration children. What is combustion? Heating any substance, heating any substance in presence of heating any substance in presence of A is called combustion. Okay, if you take a paper and if you burn with fire, that is also called combustion. Heating any substance in presence of A is called combustion. What are the conditions necessary for combustion? Okay, what are the two types of substances? There are two types of substances. Combustible substances means which will catch fire and non-combustible substances which cannot undergo combustion. Okay, try to listen. Example, petrol, paper, Food, slow or fast, but they will catch fire. Whereas rock, metal, iron, I will give you some iron piece. I'll ask you to uh, combust it. You can't. Okay. Normal combustion is different. Okay. Normal combustion is different. Normal, I'll give a big iron rod. I'll ask you to combust it. It becomes very difficult See, at normal temperature. At normal temperature. Rock, no. Okay. So these are non combustible substances. What are the conditions necessary for combustion? What are the conditions necessary for combustion? Compulsory, you need a combustible substance. I will give you a rock, I will give you a stone and I will ask you to put fire. You can never put fire, children. You can never put fire. Okay. So, presence of combustible substance. Presence of combustible substance is first condition. Next, attaining of. Next one, children. Okay. So, presence of supporter of combustion. Presence of supporter of combustion. You need a supporter of combustion. If there is no oxygen supply, how much ever I try to ignite or put the flame, I can never. Condition necessary for combustion is combustible substance should be present. And presence of support of combustion. And always a substance will catch combustion or fire when it reaches its ignition temperature. When it reaches its ignition temperature. What is ignition temperature? Temperature at which a substance catches fire. Temperature at which a substance catch fire. Temperature at which a substance catch fire is called ignition temperature. What are the types of combustion? There are different types of combustion, children. Like there are spontaneous combustion. Whether it, suppose phosphorus is there, if you put outside it will catch fire. So sodium is there. If you put outside it will catch fire. Such type of substances which don't require any uh, our help, they will only catch the fire. They are called as spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous. Rapid combustion children. Another one is rapid combustion. What is meant by rapid combustion? Means a large amount of heat and light is produced when you burn a matchstick. Large amount of large amount of heat and light is produced. Okay, spontaneous means they will only catch fire. Rapid means we have to, but large amounts of heat and fire is produced. Explosive combustion. Explosive combustion means uh, like firecrackers when you burn, how they will be explode, children. Even uh, that is called explosive. And uh, complete and incomplete combustion also is there, children. Complete and incomplete. Complete means uh, they undergo complete combustion, and incomplete means partial combustion. This is about combustion. Okay. So what all I told? I'll just summarize these are children. All of the first lesson later I will clarify your doubts. So first one, what is combustion? Okay. Uh, uh, heating any substance in presence of it is called. What are the two types of substances? Combustible and non combustible substances. And what are the conditions necessary for combustion? Presence of combustible substances and, and support of combustion must be present. Support of combustion should be present. What are the different types of combustion? I told rapid combustion, spontaneous combustion, explosive combustion, complete combustion, and partial combustion. Again, I'm saying this is rapid. This is spontaneous, they only catch fire. This is explosive. This is, the mastic is not explosive, children, okay? Complete, and this is partial combustion. This is partial combustion, okay? And what is ignition temperature? Ignition temperature means temperature at which substance catch fire. Temperature at which substance catch fire. Suppose petrol is there, children. Even at room temperature, it will catch fire. Petrol. Okay, suppose wood is there, children. You have to heat the wood to certain temperature, like suppose 100 degrees or 200 degrees, it will be there some value. If you heat that, that temperature only it catches fire. Every substance has its own ignition temperature. It means temperature at which a substance catches fire. What is ignition temperature? Temperature at which 
such things catch fire okay children next one next one now uh, about combustion okay so different different combustion i will see children what are the famous metals potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead hydrogen copper mercury silver okay so with oxygen means uh, combustion means uh, most of the times with oxygen only not children just i'm showing the reaction with oxygen in metals and non-metals already we studied this reaction only no? just a small reaction children so you'll understand any combustion looks like this only no? it reacts with oxygen reacts with the oxygen potassium plus oxygen gives potassium oxide sodium plus oxygen gives sodium oxide calcium plus oxygen gives calcium oxide magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide aluminium plus oxygen gives aluminium oxide zinc plus oxygen gives zinc oxide Iron plus oxygen gives iron oxide. Okay, and lead plus oxygen gives lead oxide. Hydrogen plus water is normally H2O. Copper plus oxide is copper oxide. Mercury oxide HGO. Silver oxide AG. And balancing issue, my children. So two potassiums. Um, so put here two children. Two oxygens, two oxygens. But potassiums are becoming four. Put here two. So we need addition again. So two oxygens are there. Put here two. Two sodiums. Two two are four. One calcium, uh, uh, two oxygens, put two oxygens, but two calciums is becoming two calciums. Like this, you can keep on balancing. This is about combustion. So always, what are the, uh, what happens during combustion? Large amounts of heat energy, light energy, sometimes sound energy will be released. Okay, during combustion, heat is liberated, light is liberated, sound is liberated. Because we know one form of energy changes to another form of energy. We can we only for one form of energy changes to another form, but we cannot either create or destroy any type of energy because we studied that in basic children law of conservation of energy that we cannot create energy, we cannot destroy, but we can convert one form. So any mass if you are heating, heat is liberated, light is liberated, sound is liberated. So combustible so it's combustion, combustible substance, non-combustible substance. Condition, presence of combustible substances and rapid of combustion. Different types of combustion. Uh, rapid combustion, spontaneous combustion, explosive combustion, complete combustion, partial combustion, ignition temperature, substance at which catches fire, temperature at which substance catches fire, temperature at which substance catches fire. On combustion, different substances, suppose magnesium is there, children, magnesium burns with uh, white dazzling light. On combustion, magnesium repel, it burns with white dazzling light. Go, uh, sodium is there, sodium burns with golden flame. Sodium burns with gold and different. Some suppose iron is there. Iron undergoes combustion very slowly, and the combustion of iron is called rusty chip. So uh, combustion of other metals is called corrosion. We will study all this in later classes. Eh? So these are this is about something about combustion children. And combustion always liberates energy children. And you should know this reactions also perfectly children. If you know this reaction, then we can ask small more questions on these reactions also that I will discuss in later cases. So children, all of you see this video. In this description, I will give some questions. Try to answer the questions and submit it as well. I will give some questions in this video. Okay. Uh, in, in the description, I'll give some uh, questions. Do the questions and submit as homework by tomorrow. Okay, so children, anyone have any doubts on this topic?